little bit about the young pope. This is definitely one of my favorite scenes here where he meets the Greenland Prime Minister and she's really beautiful. They have a little conversation. Now let's just say those beautiful blue eyes really got her on this one. I know. I'm incredibly handsome. But please, let's try to forget about that. What have you brought for me? The best our country has to offer, Holy Father. This is the largest Hollywood caught in all of Greenland last week. This is very good portion in the light broth, just like uh, Petsunya. Sea bass. So thank you so much for joining me today on The Throne Room, and I will see you guys after this little clip right here, and then we'll be talking a little bit more about this season and why you should watch The Young Pope. And this is a beautiful song by an Italian singer who's pretty popular in our country. She's called Nara, and the song is entitled Senza un perché. Thank you. This is for me, for you. Thank you, Holy Father. It's wonderful. Holy Father, first of all, I bring you the greetings of the Catholic community of Nuuk. Greenland. Yes, I know all about Nuuk. It's a small Catholic community that you have in Greenland, am I right? Yes, you are. The predominant faith in Greenland is Evangelical Lutheran. And you have a female bishop, if I'm not wrong. Exactly. Sophia Peterson, an estimable woman. All bishops are estimable. Did you know that Pope Pasquale II appointed the first bishop to Greenland, a place that, as you know very well, is technically part of North America, four full centuries before Christopher Columbus. I do know that, Holy Father. The Catholic Church was the first to arrive in Greenland. But it's not always the case that the first to arrive remains first. I agree, Holy Father. In Greenland, we Catholics are like the Native Americans. We got there first, and then we were confined to reservations. I agree, Holy Father. You're a woman who tends to agree. Oh, don't worry. Madam Prime Minister, I'm not asking you for anything for our small community in Greenland. I just wanted to remind you that we Catholics were there first. Everyone else is a... Now, I ask you, please satisfy my morbid curiosity. Since your country never thaws, I have to wonder, what's under all that ice? The experts believe that Greenland is not an island, but an archipelago of islands but that's strictly a matter of supposition. As you say, the country never thaws and no one can see what's under there. I think the experts are wrong. Really, Holy Father? Yes. Under all that ice, it could be God. Six months, Italy will hold a general election. And you will try to maintain or increase your 41% share of the electorate. And right now, everything, indeed, points to your ability to maintain that 41%. Yeah, but just imagine 
a few weeks before the election, there comes an announcement. Pope Pius XIII has decided to appear in public for the very first time. To talk to the Italian Catholics. What morbid curiosity. The whole world is dying of curiosity. And it is absolutely to be expected. It's new. We all want to see that which is hidden. We all want to stare the forbidden in the face. Pius XIII appears, and so do his beautiful blue eyes. His soft, round mouth, a dazzling image, so dazzling it blinds people. In other words, a powerful, an evocative image. Not unlike that of Christ. But Pius XIII doesn't merely dazzle. He offers reassurance as well with a magnificent speech full of quotations in Latin. He tells them that they, the faithful, must not be afraid. And why would they be afraid with a pope as handsome and as reassuring as Christ? He did say that of Christ. I am done with him. He is just a sly dog. Last of all, just a few short weeks before the election, the pope says just two words. Non expedit. You know what that means? No. No, of course you don't. You're far too young. The non expedit was first issued by Pius IX in 1868. It was eliminated by Benedict XV in 1919. But guess what I can do? But guess what I can do? But I who am not answerable to 41% of the Italian, but only to God, who, by the way, doesn't express his displeasures on a social network if I make a mistake. Guess what I can do? I can restore the non expedient The Catholics will rush to Google those words. What do they mean? The non expedient Expedit means that the Holy Father decrees it is unacceptable for Catholics to vote in the Italian elections. And do you know what the surveys that you commissioned tell us? They tell us that the number of Italians who identify themselves as Catholics are 87.8% of the population. Us, that the number of Italians who identify themselves as Catholics are 87.8% of the population. Now, you may say to me they can simply disobey you. True. But while a Catholic might disobey the Pope, well, a Catholic might disobey the Pope, disobey Christ. I'm already the former, but believe me, if I want to, I can have myself accredited as the latter as well. And when I do,